Just to get it out of the way, yes, uh, this is not the normal recording spot. I'm actually recording this in a garage, so sorry if the sound is a little off. I know like three of you will care about that, but I'm in the process of setting up a new set and wanted to get this video recorded and put out relatively soon after the movie came out. But with that out of the way, uh, yeah, I saw El Camino, the Breaking Bad movie that just released on Netflix. Overall, I really like the movie, but I have a couple of issues with it. But I'll get to those issues later. First off, I, I want to talk about the technical aspects of this movie, which I think are far and away the best parts. The cinematography is astounding. There were several times throughout the movie where I just said, man, that is an amazing shot. The sound design, the soundtrack, all of that is great. All the locations and just all the technical aspects of the filmmaking, the directing, all of that was by far the best parts of this movie. It's a really well-made, tightly made movie. The performances by not only Aaron Paul, but Jesse Plemons and everybody else that comes to offer their character into this sort of epilogue to the main television series. And the story has some really cool moments. It does this interesting thing where it sort of flashes back at times to give you context as to what you're about to see. And it does this little moving back and forth a lot throughout the entire movie. And I really like that aspect. It always kept me guessing and kept me questioning why I was seeing something. And then a couple minutes later, I would get a new bit of backstory or an explanation as to something that answered that question that I had. So I really like that. It always kept me on my toes. And one thing that I do also need to mention about this sort of wraps both things together, the technical and the storytelling, is the tension in this movie. There are so many scenes that are just super tense and they're really pulling that tension rod and just making you feel like, oh, like what is going to happen here? They did a really good job of just making you sit on the edge of your seat in anticipation as to what you were about to see or what was about to happen next. I really like that aspect of the film. And as for some of the things that I don't think the film does well, I mean, a lot of people have been saying in reviews and such that this film is unnecessary. And I can understand why some people would think that way. At the same time, I don't really agree with that. No, we didn't have to see this but I don't feel like it tells an unnecessary story. I mean, I'm sure plenty of fans wanted to see what Jesse ended up doing after the end of the events of Breaking Bad. So that's one like surface level reason as to why this movie exists. But I also think that more than the film feeling unnecessary, to me, this film just sort of seems like it's an epilogue episode of the show that they made back when they ended the show, but then never released it. Tonally, it still matches, nothing's really changed. The story is direct continuation right after the end, but just something about it doesn't add or kickstart anything new. So, something like Better Call Saul being the spinoff series that is still going on right now, uh, that sort of is adding different elements and flavor to the world of Breaking Bad. This really does just feel like the epilogue that they forgot to share whenever it was finished. And sort of to that point, uh, I have a few issues with the ending of the movie. Not really anything like major or drastic, but it feels like in the last 10 minutes, they try to do a whole lot of different things and make a bunch of callbacks and tie up all the loose ends in a very short amount of time. And it just makes the ending feel a little jumbled and messed up. Uh, there's a specific scene where Jesse is sharing a conversation with someone as he's driving away in this place. Uh, spoilers, of course, I won't get into it. But he's driving and he starts reminiscing about this conversation he had. And that entire scene I don't really think needed to be there. I understand why it is there, but again, it just adds to this weird confusion and like 
oh, we forgot, we have to add like 10 more things into here before we wrap up in the next 10 minutes. So I feel like the ending is a pretty weak spot for the movie overall. But yeah, other than that, those were my only real complaints. I mean, I this isn't really a complaint with the movie per se, but I would have liked to see this on the big screen instead of watching it on Netflix. It's the same thing with uh, Martin Scorsese's movie, The Irishman, coming up. I would like to see that in a theater, but I doubt it's going to come to where I'm at. So I'm just going to have to watch that on Netflix. It's not a bad thing. I mean, you have the comfort of your living room to watch something like this, but this is a movie that I think I really would have liked to see on the big screen just because there's so many great shots and the cinematography is so great. It just begs to be seen on the biggest screen possible. But I digress. The movie's really good. If you're a fan of Breaking Bad, definitely I think you should watch this. If not, I don't think this is for you at all because this basically is the final episode of the show. So yeah, watch the series if you have any interest in watching this movie. You may enjoy it if you haven't watched the series and do decide to watch El Camino, but you will probably be pretty lost and you won't have as much of a, I guess, a catharsis as to what the character of Jesse has gone through to get to the point where he's at at the beginning of the movie. So yeah, check out our other movie reviews and other videos. Maybe leave a like or a comment. Say what you thought about the El Camino movie down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one.